take a look at some of the musical instruments I have used on H3VR, Return of the Rot Wieners music. Let's start with a classic of a horror movie soundtracks, the waterfall. It's half musical instrument, half percussion, two metal plates with this pipe solder in the center, and a bunch of brass rods that you can play with a violin bow. It also has a little bit of water inside and its weight as you move it will bend the bottom plate and create even more variety. I have mainly used it on the level lake side. So let's take a listen to the water phone played with the violin bow, first solo and then in the context of the whole track. I've also used the water phone as a percussion instrument. I've turned it upside down and recorded a variety of rhythmic patterns that I have used for the action layers of the level graveyard. I'm not going to demonstrate this right now because there is still water inside, but I can play for you some of the examples from the FMOD project. First in solo and then in the context of the whole track. Inspired by how the waterphone works, I thought I could create a unique instrument by removing the handle of this aluminum bucket and running a guitar string through it. Um, I played it with my fingers and also, again, with a violin bow. Right now, the string is flat, but at the time of the recording session, I was able to tune this to a low D. Um, again, let's look at some examples from the FMOD project. Let's start by listening to the aluminum bucket with the guitar string, first in solo, plucked with my fingers, then in combination with the waterphone rhythm, and then in the context of the whole track. This is how the aluminum bucket with the guitar string sounds after post-processing when played with a violin bow. And one more time, let's listen to it in the context of the whole track.
Probably one of my favorite noise generating devices that I have used on the project is this box called Blackfly. It's made by a small company in New York called Electrofaustus and is four metal springs attached to what it looks like a guitar box and with some kind of pickup inside that sends the sound to either a guitar amplifier or your audio interface. The way I played it on the project is by uh, using this uh, strange guitar pick called Jellyfish, which is some kind of metal brush, and I use it to scrape the springs. What I wanted to recreate was the sound of a zombie approaching you from behind while dragging uh, maybe an axe on the floor or some kind of metal rod and ready to attack you. Again, let's look at some example from the FMOD project. First in solo and then in the context of the whole track. For the whole map of Return of Rot Wieners, I wanted to fill up the environment with some kind of scary, ghostly sounding wind, but I didn't want to base it off any natural recording of wind. Instead, I've used an Aztec Death Whistle. This is a replica of what is thought to be some kind of a warfare scare tactic device. And I can see why. When you blow through it, it sounds like a human being screaming in pain. I'm gonna demonstrate this for you, but keep in mind, this is very difficult to record and it's probably not gonna sound the way it sounds when you listen to it in, in person. It's probably gonna sound kind of silly. But trust me, when you listen to this in person, it's extremely loud and very scary. Um, because I wasn't able to record it properly, uh, I wasn't able to use it the way I wanted, but with some heavy post-processing, I was still able to create the ghostly, scary wind. And one more time, let's look at some examples from the FMOD project. These are some of the kind of textures I was able to create uh, using the Aztec that whistle and a variety of effects. I'll play them in solo as usual and then in the context of the whole track. All the instruments I've shown you today have been further edited and processed in Pro Tools. If you're curious to learn about the techniques I've used, subscribe to be notified when the next video will be uploaded. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.